For today's detail cleaning in the bathroom, the first thing I'm going to do is grab all of the hand towels in here. And I do wash these um, more often. I wash them very regularly, but a few of them never get used like these above here, but I do make sure they get washed um, regularly. So I have several because we have an old bathroom and for whatever reason there are a lot of towel racks in here. So I just grab these and then I also wash the bathroom rug. We also have this bathroom in our basement, so I'm going to grab the hand towels and the rug in here as well. I do wash it more often, but I do include it in my detail cleaning just to make sure that it's nice and clean, and I wash these pretty much every time I wash towels, and since I'm washing towels, I'm going to throw those in as well because um, my boys use these and um, they get used a lot, so I definitely wash those a couple times a week. The next thing I'm going to do is wipe down the things in my medicine cabinet and straighten it up. It usually stays pretty neat if anything's out of place. I just straighten it up a little bit. I also um, will fill up the cotton balls if those need to be uh, filled up as well as the Q-tips. And then I also wipe out the medicine cabinet in the basement um, bathroom. There isn't much in here, but I just wipe it out and um, that way it's fresh and clean and sanitized. I also wiped down the toothbrush holder in the medicine cabinet and sanitized it with vinegar and water. And then I am going to clean our toothbrushes and I just put them in some vinegar and let them sit in there for about 15 minutes. I have used peroxide in the past so you could use whatever you have on hand but that will just get them nice and clean and um, that way they'll be sanitized and everything. I also straighten the cabinet out in the basement bathroom and this is where we keep a lot of the extras for um, my boys like shampoo and conditioner and razors and things like that because there's a little more room in this cabinet. My husband keeps his electric razors and things like that. So I just wipe everything down and um, clean out the basket, straighten it up a little bit. It really doesn't take too long because everything's pretty much contained in a basket so it stays pretty neat. For today's detail cleaning, I'm going to take this makeup container out and wipe it all out really well. I use vinegar and water again to sanitize everything and just get it nice and clean. And then I wipe down all of my makeup. I do clean my makeup brushes about once a week, but if you haven't done that in a while, definitely clean your makeup brushes and just get rid of any makeup that you no longer wear or any broken eyeshadows or anything like that. So I go ahead and do that. I clean my makeup mirror and just um, straighten out my nail polishes and um, you know make sure it's nice and clean and I wipe down uh, those shelves there. And then I also clean my linen closet. So I just straighten out my towels just to make sure it's nice and neat and then um, straighten whatever's on that shelf. I have my vitamins and medicine and things on these shelves so I just um, quickly take everything out of there and wipe it out. I like using plastic baskets just so that um, you can easily wipe it out and sanitize it and everything. And then on this shelf I have all of my dish towels and cleaning rags and things and sometimes those um, get you know a little messy with people grabbing them out of there. So I'll just straighten up those and then wipe down the shelf really quickly. And then this is where I keep a lot of our extra thing. Take these things out and wipe those down just in case anything um, is spilled or whatever and just um, if there's anything in here I know I'm never going to use, I'll just get rid of it at that time. I also wipe down and straighten out the cabinet under my sink and it does stay pretty neat. Um, there isn't a whole lot in here but um, this basket gets a little bit you know disorganized so I just straighten that up a little bit and wipe it out and wipe down the cabinet. It doesn't take very long because um, it stays pretty clean under here. Since today is my cleaning day and it's the day that I would normally wash my floors and 
um, sanitize the toilet and um, scrub the shower and things like that. I just do a little extra because it's um, my detailed cleaning in the bathroom week. So what I do is I clean the toilet and the toilet bowl brush as well as the canister that the toilet, toilet bowl brush is in. So what I usually do is just sprinkle a little bit of baking soda in the toilet and then I put um, some vinegar in there and let it sit and then I put the toilet bowl brush inside of the toilet while it's doing its work and then I just um, you know use the toilet bowl um, brush to clean the toilet really well I um, while it's you know soaking while everything's soaking in the toilet I will um, spray down the canister really well and clean that out and that way it's nice and sanitized and because I um, clean the toilet once a week and then thoroughly clean everything you know during my detail cleaning, um, I think that that, you know, works well. For my showers and my tubs, um, I found that by using a daily cleaner, I just use uh, vinegar and water and spray it down every day after everyone takes their showers. Um, it really eliminates the soap scum, so there isn't a ton that builds up. And then I do clean it well during my once a week cleaning, so I just use a magic eraser and kind of scrub in between the tiles, any areas that might look a little dingy or whatever. But I do want to sanitize it really well and clean it um, extra during my detail cleaning time. So what I have found that works is using peroxide in a spray bottle, so I just spray down, and this works great on the tiles, um, in between the tiles, the grout and everything. And then for the floor, I just spray it down with the peroxide and then sprinkle baking soda over it and then it just kind of foams up a little bit. And that just works um, really well with the grout and that gets it nice and clean. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now for my bathroom floors, because I usually just use a mop, but during my detail cleaning, I think it's good to get the corners and things and just make sure um, no dust, you know, accumulates in the corners. And um, usually when I do my weekly cleaning, I do get behind the toilet and everything. But I just make sure that during my detail cleaning, I get everything really well and I um, scrub the grout and everything. So I just take a little extra time and I wash the floors by hand rather than by mop. And I just have two small bathrooms, so it really isn't that big of a deal to just wash them by hand. I usually wash my shower curtains about every six months or so. I don't really feel like they need to be washed more often than that because they don't really get that dirty, but I do like to wash them on a regular basis. Um, I think they would probably fall apart if I washed them every week or every you know few weeks, but I think every six months is um, a def decent amount of time. And then the shower liners, I spray those every day with uh, vinegar and water so the soap scum doesn't really build up or anything. And then I do replace them um, probably every six months to a year just when they start to get a little dingy looking. And then the one that I have upstairs can actually be thrown in the washer so I do that about every six months or so because I am spraying um, a daily cleaner on there. They don't really get too dirty. For today's detail cleaning, I just have a couple things. I'm going to wipe down this exhaust fan here, wipe down the front of all of these cabinets, and then I'm also going to wipe down the walls and the baseboards, and then when I go upstairs, I will wipe down the walls up there as well. In this bathroom up here, I'm going to wipe down the walls as well. I'm also going to wipe down the light fixtures. I did wipe down the light fixtures and the basement bathroom, I just forgot to mention it. And then I'm going to wipe the light switch covers and also wipe down the door. For today's detail cleaning, all I really need to do is wipe down our bathroom scale and clean the window that's in the upstairs bathroom. So just a couple things. So bathroom number one is nice and clean. And bathroom number two is nice and clean and organized as well. I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions at all, feel free to comment below. If you would like to see the series that I did on how I organize everything in my bathroom, I'll link that below. It's in a playlist. And if you miss zone one, which was the kitchen, I'll link that below as well. Thank you again for watching.